the strangest moons in the solar system. From moons with oceans frozen for billions of years to moons with golden surfaces and others with rivers of methane, our celestial neighborhood is home to some of the weirdest planetary satellites in the galaxy. So join us as we take a quick look at some of the strangest moons ever observed. Callisto Moon Callisto is one of Jupiter's Galilean moons and is the third largest moon in the solar system. Almost categorized as a planet itself, Callisto is only slightly smaller than Mercury, but that isn't what earns it its place on this list. That would be the fact that it holds the title of being the most heavily cratered body in the solar system. Callisto's dark surface is covered with millions of craters, some of which are so deep they've exposed fresh ice beneath the surface, scattering these icy debris across the moon's surface. Callisto owes its uneven surface to its host planet Jupiter, whose powerful gravity has been pulling celestial objects like asteroids and comets into its orbit, most of which end up on the surface of the planet's moons. Callisto and its neighbours are constantly in the line of fire from these incoming asteroids, soaking up more impact than all other bodies in the solar system. And although the other Galilean moons receive roughly the same amount of impact, Billions of years of geological processes have wiped away most of these craters from their surfaces. Callisto, however, has remained basically the same for over 4.5 billion years, maintaining its scarred surface, telling stories of its ancient past. Mimas Moon Mimas is Saturn's innermost moon and has one of the most distinct looks of any object in the solar system. When the first pictures of the moon were received from NASA's Voyager space probe back in the 1980s, it took the world by surprise as the moon had a striking resemblance to the famous Death Star from Star Wars. Mimas has a huge crater engulfing an entire hemisphere on one half of the moon, similar in shape and size to the laser-shooting, planet-killing Death Star from the Star Wars franchise. But Mimas isn't just famous for its pop culture references. Having a diameter of just 246 miles, Mimas happens to be the smallest object in the solar system to have pulled itself into a spherical shape with its own gravity. This is something much larger objects in the solar system haven't been able to do yet. Iapetus Moon This moon exhibits a rather odd trait something that was discovered back in 1671, which is that Iapetus appears brighter on one side of its surface and darker on the other side. Known to astronomers as the yin and yang of Saturn's moons, one side of Iapetus is as dark as coal, while the other half is much brighter, almost having a light grey metallic colour. The leading theory for the colour difference is that dark ice from within the moon itself sublime to the surface causing a dark blanket on that side of the moon. With that, the dark side tends to absorb more heat, maintaining the sublimation effect and ensuring that side of the moon remains dark. Iapetus also has a rather distinct mountain range that runs the entire equator of the planet. This mountain ridge is over 8 miles high and 12 miles wide, giving the moon a rather distinct walnut shape. Theories suggest the mountains were from a time when the moon span much faster and bulged out, while others believe they are a remnant of a failed ring system that once circled the moon, but finally collapsed on its surface. Hyperion Moon This moon earns its spot as one of the weirdest looking satellites of Saturn's moon system. Hyperion's surface bears a striking resemblance to corals or a sponge but with deep, rough craters and razor-sharp ridges of ice and rock. In addition to its rough exterior, Hyperion was also the first non-spherical moon to be discovered back when it was believed all moons were entirely spherical in shape. But that's not all. Hyperion also has the most unpredictable and erratic orbital rotation of any satellite in the solar system. Its rotation doesn't match its orbital period, and as such, it spins in a widely chaotic pattern, almost like an out-of-control potato-shaped object. Miranda Moon Miranda is yet another oddly-shaped moon of Uranus. 
The first close-up images from the Voyager space probe revealed the satellite's surface with the most irregular patchwork of terrains, almost as if the moon was molded together by hand. Some regions of the moon are extraordinarily cratered, almost like a large asteroid was dragged across the surface, while other parts appear relatively untouched. Some features on Miranda's surface resemble racetracks, while elsewhere a distinct V-shape can be seen. One major theory for Miranda's unique appearance is that the moon is a Frankenstein satellite, a collection of fragments from a larger predecessor that merged over time to form the oddity that is Miranda. Another theory is that the moon's frequent alignment with its larger lunar neighbor, Umbriel, caused tidal forces to push, pull, and heat Miranda from the inside. This resulted in significant rearrangement of the moon's surface, much like how tectonic plates shift entire continents over time here on Earth. Titan Moon Titan is Saturn's largest moon and remains one of the strangest worlds in the solar system, as it is the only satellite with a significant atmosphere of its own. The first images from the Voyager probe confused scientists as they showed Titan as a foggy green world with strange orange hues. But then, the Cassini orbiter with its own radar and infrared instrument was able to see beyond the thick haze to reveal a world with an atmosphere similar to Earth. Titan has a rather evolved landscape with lakes and rivers similar to those here on Earth, only instead of liquid water Titan has rivers of liquid methane. Despite being some 900 million miles away from the sun and having surface temperatures well below freezing at minus 179 degrees Celsius, Titan has managed to hold on to its bizarre yet significant atmosphere. Titan is similar to Earth in more ways than one. For one, its atmosphere is made up mostly of nitrogen, the key element in Earth's atmosphere. The Moon also has an impressive methane cycle, similar to the water cycle on Earth. Methane evaporates into the atmosphere, only to fall back as methane rain shaping the landscape and maintaining the cycle, and also giving the Moon its distinctive color and opaque haze. Being slightly larger than Mercury, Titan's year is equivalent to 29.5 Earth years, and the Moon also experiences different seasons similar to those on Earth. Temperatures at Titan's poles are strangely warmer and favor rainfall such that rivers of methane migrate from one pole to the other over the course of each Titanian year. With similar processes to those only found on Earth, Titan is a prime target for our search for extraterrestrial life in the solar system. However, most scientists believe it is unlikely for life to exist in such extreme chemical conditions. Enceladus Moon one of Saturn's smaller inner satellites, Enceladus, has puzzled scientists since NASA's Cassini probe sent back the first close-up images of the Moon. It was discovered that Enceladus experienced plumes of water ice erupting from the Moon's icy surface when the space probe flew right through one. The plumes were observed along fissures in the southern hemisphere, indicating the presence of liquid water beneath the Moon's icy surface, confirming that Enceladus is an active world. Enceladus has always been a strange world, being the whitest object in the solar system with an unusually bright surface, but that isn't all that makes it strange. Much like its smaller neighbors in the Saturnian system, Enceladus, with a diameter of just 313 miles, should have frozen solid billions of years ago but somehow it manages to still have oceans of liquid water underneath its icy surface. It turns out Enceladus is caught in a gravitational tug of war between Saturn and one of its largest moons, Dione, with tidal forces keeping its inner core warm enough for liquid water to form. It was also discovered that much of the water that escapes from Enceladus enters into orbit around Saturn, forming its outermost donut-shaped ring. Io Moon Io is one of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. And while the other three are relatively frozen, dead worlds of ice and rock, Io appears to have a much more active landscape. The surface of Io is filled with dynamic mineral formations with quite a colorful landscape, 
a mix of brown, yellow, red, and even green minerals created by underground sulfur pockets that spill onto its surface. Io also takes the title of the most volcanic world in the solar system, a feature not entirely caused by the moon itself. Io is caught in the middle of gravitational push and pull between its Galilean neighbors and Jupiter itself. The massive tidal pull from all directions causes rocks in the moon's interior to grind against each other, keeping its core heated and creating huge deposits of subsurface molten magma. These actions keep the planet's core warm, its thousands of volcanoes active and evaporate any form of ice that may have been on the surface despite the moon having a surface temperature of minus 160 degrees Celsius. Triton Moon Triton is one of the most distant of the solar system's major moons and is also one of the weirdest moons in the solar system. Although Triton has a perfectly circular orbit, this moon orbits its host planet, Neptune, backwards. Despite being over 2.8 billion miles from the Sun with surface temperatures well below minus 230 degrees Celsius, Triton remains one of the few worlds with active volcanic eruptions. However, another weird fact about Triton is that these cryovolcanic eruptions aren't hot but actually incredibly cold with volcanoes of icy ammonia, nitrogen geysers, a distinct cantaloupe resemblance, and a backward orbit, Triton definitely earns its place as one of the strangest and weirdest moons in our solar system. With over 170 moons in our solar system, there is no shortage of strange and weird worlds to explore and discover. Which moon did you find to be the weirdest? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.